Today I'm going to show you how to take your song from this Kind of boring To this You've got blue eyes Staring across the room at me now I'm lost inside Exciting, energetic, all with the help of some ad-libs and doubles. Ad-libs are like the cherry on top of your song's sundae. It will probably taste good without it, but with it, it unlocks a whole different flavor combo that will blow your listeners' minds. And honestly, they're really not that hard to do. Well-produced ad-libs and background vocals will add energy to the original recording, make your song sound wider, and keep people glued to their headphones. In this video, I'll show you three easy methods I use to get my ad-libs to sound amazing. Be sure to stick around for the last method because I've saved my favorite for last. By the end of this video, you'll be mixing and producing ad-libs like a pro. So let's hop in. The first method I'll cover is a great method for adding more energy to certain words or phrases. It's called doubling. All you got to do is take the word, phrase, or line you want to emphasize and record it again two more times. Here's a song that I'm working on right now. I just wrote some lyrics for a track that I pulled off of online, and I'm going to emphasize some of the words in the verse by doing this technique. Let's take a listen. Cool. So there are a couple words here that I think would sound really good. Eyes and inside I think would be good. And then shy and hide. They all happen to be in the same rhyme. So let's try that. I'm going to add in some extra voices just singing those words. Same pitch and everything. You'll see how much more emphasis it has. I'm lost inside. inside. Seems too shy. Just Let's take a listen with this. I'm going to pan these left and right to get them out of the way. I'm also going to take them down in volume ever so slightly, but I'm going to use the same exact settings I have on my main voice to make things easy. Take off low latency mode. Let's hear what it sounds like. See how quick that was to emphasize a few words there? To keep processing easy, I'll use one of the presets from my vocal preset pack, Vocal Magic 1. Then I'll make sure both of the takes I have recorded are panned hard left and hard right to add to the stereo width. You can also add some more reverb onto both of these to kind of give them some more depth and atmosphere, but that's totally optional. Let's hear what it sounds like. Sometimes I'll take this doubles and triples technique and I'll do the same thing, but I'll sing the entire line. This gives me some more beef to my main voice and I might do this for a chorus or some place that I need more energy. Now comes a method I use for some more creative sounding and unique ad-libs. It's not as all-encompassing as the last method I use, but I still use this one a lot. You can do this second method in one of two ways. In the first way, you'll find the gaps of a vocal and sing words or phrases related to the song in the empty spaces. For example, right here, you can hear that the vocal takes a pause for a second and the song doesn't have anything else playing. I'm lost inside. That means we can choose a relevant phrase and sing to fill up that space with another vocal. In this case, let's use inside. We're just going to echo it because that's the last word that was said. Once again, we'll duplicate this track using the same settings that I had from before and we'll record. Here we go. I'm lost inside. Inside. She seems too shy. Let's hear what this one sounds like. I'll add some more reverb to kind of push it back in the mix a little bit. I'll turn it down in the mix as well. And I'll take off a little latency mode. Let's hear what it sounds like. I'm lost inside. Just filling up that space, making it a little bit thicker. And then the second way we can do this second method is we can simply drag and drop phrases from our existing vocal into the space to fill it in. This method works better if you can't go back to the recording process. If you can, I'd recommend adding some more voices to increase the texture of the song itself rather than just duplicating what you already have. Let me demonstrate it with this part right here in the chorus. All you have to do, hold command, get that marquee tool, hold alt, and then drag and drop it to a different part. Check it out. It's almost like you're doing a your own manual delay. You can get really granular with this and really specific about the types of delays you want if you use this method. I personally prefer recording new voices, but totally up to you. For both of these types, including method one and two, I like to push them farther back in the mix by adding a bandpass filter on them and reverb. I'm actually gonna put these all into another track stack so that I can just 
show you what the sound would be like if I do this all at once. I'll take this, I'll band pass them, I'll take away the lows and the highs, and this is gonna let them sit back away from the lead vocal at all. If there's ever any overlap, like right here, you'll hear the lead vocal a whole lot more. Check it out. I'm lost inside. She seems too shy. This carves out more space for my main vocal when it starts to come in. And as far as how much I want to actually cut out of the highs, I just experiment until I get something I like. Sometimes I'll have a lot of frequency, sometimes I'll have not that much. It just depends on what vibe I'm going for. The same thing with reverb. I'll add a reverb to taste according to how much I want them to sit back in the mix. And that brings me to my last method I use for ad-libs and background vocals, and by far the most energetic, the background choir. Sometimes to add to my chorus or my tracks, I'll add a choir of voices behind my lead to beef it up a little. I'll add harmonies, doubles, different octaves, and more. I've been known to record over a hundred different voices to get the result I'm looking for. I made a video about that full process if you wanna watch it, right up here. But recording a hundred voices isn't always necessary and sometimes it just takes too much time. Sometimes just singing the same ad-lib part four or six times can be plenty to thicken up the sound. I'll go back through on the ad-libs I made on the first and second method and record some more vocals just so you can hear the difference. She's got blue eyes inside okay even just after a few more voices this might not be exactly what i do on the final track but i just want to emphasize the difference it makes to add some more voices in check it out she's got blue eyes staring across the room at me now i'm lost inside but she seems too shy she's covering a smile that's way too cute to hide but there's no need to And then if I'm not feeling like recording 50 voices or 100 voices and I do want that choir sound, I've actually got a secret plugin up my sleeve that I'll use for even thicker sounding vocals. It's called Autotune Choir. You can adjust the voices here to the desired effect and just take a listen to the result it adds to the other voices I've recorded. This time I'm going to be doing it on the chorus to really thicken it up because that's where I want this choir, but take a listen. I promise I won't bite I'm just another guy With the cost who wants to get to know you tonight Here's what the plugin sounds like by itself You can adjust the number of voices You can adjust the timing You can adjust the pitch You can adjust the vibrato Let's hear what it sounds like with everything else Giving it some thickness. Putting some reverb on it sounds great. Now that I've shown you three methods for adding some sweet, sweet ad libs, let's listen to the final result. She's got blue eyes staring across the room at me now. I'm lost inside. But she seems too shy. She's covering. And what's cool about this, I can continue using these methods to make this sound even thicker, to fill in some of those gaps like I talked about before. All I have to do is use those couple of methods and bada bang, my song's already sounding more professional. Ad-libs are awesome to add to your track, but they are not everything when it comes to finishing a song. Which is why you should watch this video I made right up here about how to make incredible ear candy to polish off your track. Link in the description. Go watch it.